Hey everyone, this is Matt, aka the Nuclear Cyborg, and today is September, or I'm sorry, October 16th, and it is currently 3.25 p.m. in the afternoon, and we are here in my master bedroom, as you can see with the backdrop Cinderella Castle uh, above me, and today I would like to share with you an invitation, the second invitation that I gave I believe it was actually back on September 15th. Uh, let me see. That's that's about, I think that's about right. Um, the, the reason that it's it took so long, it's taken so long to get this second invitation up is uh, because that week of, uh, of the invitation, I, like I said, I believe it was Wednesday, September 15th. Uh, it was because on that Friday, I was planning on to go, to go on vacation, and so I was, you know, busy with the uh, preparations to get to, uh, to get ready to go, and then, um, and then of course the uh, weeks after, of course, having to uh, jump back into work and get my schedule back in order and all that stuff. So, uh, but I wanted to be able to get that second invitation up here, and because uh, that's what I want to try to do on my channel now, because I've joined a new church and I've been given these uh, invitations on Wednesday night. The first one went over very well, but uh, this one is not going to be, uh, it wasn't recorded uh, at the church. So like I said, I'm here at home and I'm, I wanna present it. I'm gonna be reading off my uh, cell phone and uh, on the uh, iCloud uh, where I saved it. So, uh, and, get, and present that here. Uh, so like I said, uh, it's taken a few, uh, a while, but uh, like I said, I just wanna get it up now and see what y'all, see what y'all think. I want to try to, you know, that that is my goal. I'm a Christian, so it is my goal in life to tr try to bring others to Christ. And so, uh, and I've seen other other videos, YouTube videos, say people that try to do that, and then people that express their uh, a atheism or agnostic view. And so, you know, it's a, it's a free world out there. So uh, we can go, uh, you know, freedom of speech we can do what we want and that's what I want to do here on my YouTube channel as I said is because I'm starting to go into a new, ch a new church and uh, they're allowing me to speak on Wednesday nights now uh, there will be some a uh, one modification that I'm going to make at the end of this uh, after after I get to the end of the invitation uh, I'm going to uh, make a modification because of one of the elders that contacted me after I gave it so like I said after the fact he gave it to me sent me an email so I'm going to comment on that uh, when I get to the end of the original what I wrote what the original invitation was so here we go it is let me see that introduction took me oh, darn man lighting in here is uh, terrible so about uh, a little over a minute oh no wait dang man the lighting in here is uh, a little over three minutes so that was the that was the introduction so now I want to jump into my invitation so so here we go uh, good evening, church family. It is great to be before you to deliver another invitation. I'd like to thank you for the positive feedback that I received for my first invitation, which I was generally surprised to receive it. Now, who knew that I had such a gift? Now, wait. Wait. Gift. Gifts. Now, there is something there. Ah, yes. If you want to turn your Bibles, please, to Romans chapter 12, and we're going to be reading from verses 6 through 8. Now, from the New American Standard Version, it, it reads, Since we have gifts that differ according to the grace given to each of us, each of us is to exercise them accordingly. If prophecy, according to proportion of his faith. If service... In his serving or he who teaches in his teaching or he who exhorts which is a word that means to encourage in his extortion he who gives with liberty he who leads with diligence he who shows mercy with cheerfulness <laughs> Now, from these three verses, we can draw a few conclusions. First off, God has given each of us at least one spiritual gift. 
at least one. Second, that we all have different spiritual gifts. Some of us are natural leaders, other of us are natural teachers, other of us are servers, and of course there's many in between. I'd like to think that I have the gift of prophecy sometimes. Maybe not to see into the future, so to speak. But I am pretty good at reading signs, both past and present, and reading feelings in order to predict the future, and my predictions are pretty accurate. Now, third, we are commanded to use our gift or gifts given to each of us by God in order to further God's kingdom. Now, when I was in Bible college, I took a class called the Discipline Life. In that class, the professor gave us a spiritual gift assessment, which I would like to share with you. There are 84 simple questions, and you score yourself, excuse me, and you score yourself from zero to three. Zero being never, and three being almost always or constantly. You then tally your score, and your total tells you what your spiritual gift is or, or are. Now, there are three main categories. There is care, communication, and carry out. Now, which there are four to six subcategories within those three. Now, at the time I took the assessment, the spiritual gift that scored the highest was wisdom. Huh, really, really wisdom. I took this assessment back in 2013, which would have made me 27 years old at the time. That seems pretty young to me to be, to be displaying wisdom. Even looking back on it now, at 35, it still seems kind of weird. I mean, doesn't wisdom come with age and experience? Now, wisdom scored a 17, and the two that the two that followed closely behind, both scoring a 14, were leadership and administration. Quite the spiritual mix, and gifts that are, at least to me, in my in my opinion, seem to belong to someone with a few more years under their belt. Now, I want to say that I don't necessarily think that the spiritual gifts are restricted to just serving God's kingdom. Gifts like leadership, administration, mercy, encouragement, as well as many others in the assessment, they, they can be used out there in the world. I mean, the Lord knows, God knows that we need good leaders in this nation. So what do you think your spiritual gift is or are, if you don't already know? Is it mercy or encouragement or maybe it is shepherding or service or maybe you're gifted in knowledge and or wisdom or discernment or evangelism maybe teaching or prophecy or do you think that you are more gifted in leadership and administration or maybe your spiritual gift is that you have unshakable faith or maybe that it is giving, whether it be money or time. So maybe you'd like to know what your spiritual gift is or gifts are, so they can start using them for God's kingdom. Now I have a few copies here, and if I run out, of course I can always make more. Now the sheet that to where you tally your scores, it might little, look a little bit strange because I had to white out my old answers in order to print copies. Or maybe you've never taken that first step in order to become a child of God. If you would like to become one, a child of God, I invite you to come forward. So whatever your decision is, I invite you to come forward. Whether you have to, you want to know what your spiritual gift is, or if you want to take that first step in order to become a child of God. So come forward, please, as we stand and as we sing. Now, there it is. That's the second invitation that I, I gave at my church. Now, the modification that I want to make here 
that I told you I would make is I go to a Church of Christ, okay? And, of course, every single church ha has their own individual beliefs. And, and the uh, Church of Christ is very strict about what the Bible says, the, what the Bible says, okay? So my one of my elders, he sent me an email saying that, uh, you know, this, uh, this, the invitation I just presented and presenting spiritual gifts, spiritual gifts, he said that the Bible doesn't, doesn't say that, you know, there's no record in the Bible that God gives us spiritual gifts. Now, I, if it came out that way, if I didn't make it clear, if I didn't make it black and white, that is not exactly what I, what I meant by spiritual gifts, okay? I wasn't talking about uh, miracles, okay? You know, you know, Jesus went, Jesus and God, when, you know, back in Jesus's day, when you know he his twelve disciples or his eleven disciples, you know, he gave the uh, miraculous gifts, spirit, spiritual gifts or miracles where they could heal, you know, and stuff like and stuff like that, or speak speak in tongues without having really really any study, you know healing stuff like that that that's mirac that's miracles i wasn't exactly talking miracles like i said i i, I want i think i did make it clear in my sir in my little invitation there that you know the, these spiritual gifts are not exactly restricted to using within the church okay you know like i said leadership administration and so on we need those out in the real world okay we need good leaders that you know can have good leadership abilities and good administration abilities stuff like that so i don't necessarily think that that's what i that's what i did if i unintentionally did that then then i admit that okay i admit that but you know again spiritual gifts you know if you want if you want you, you can go you can go you can just talk call them natural gifts but you know, I, in in some way, in one, in, well, okay. My opinion is that you know, yes, we are we are all God's children. God created each of us individually, and with our own, you know, we're diff different from everybody else. Nobody is the same. Even even identical twins, you know, they're yes, they're very close in similarity, but you know, they do have their differences. And that's what and that's what I mean that's what I was trying to get at God created each of us individually and again as we grow up we become better you know good better at some things than others you know some people again some people have that natural leadership ability people tend to gravitate that towards them and whether they expi aspire to be the leader or not you know they are good leaders don't there are some of us that you know grow up well once we grow up we like serving others that we we just excel at it that, that that's what i'm trying to get out here not not that you know miraculous gifts as in you know the act of healing or you know be, being able to you know speak in tongues which is you know different languages without having really any study so that's the modification I wanted to make, and like I said, you know, again, Church of Christ, you know, it, what is what the Bible says. If the Bible doesn't say it, then, you know, the Church of Christ, for instance, the Church of Christ doesn't believe in instruments at all, at all. And I know uh, some people, if you watch this video, or even if you don't, maybe you have heard that. Well. In the book of Revelation, there is a verse in Revelation. I'm not sure the chapter or verse off the top of my head, but it says that the angels uh, used harps in their worship. Harps are instruments, and that's where many churches get their justification to use instruments in worship. Well, then you know, I I did the same. I came from a uh, Christian church that that did use instruments in their worship and actually my father tried to raise my brothers and I when we were when we were younger middle school age elementary age stuff like that he tried to raise us in the church of Christ so when I got to this Christian church yes all these all these instruments were a bit of a surprise 
And then after a while, just either my personal preference, I didn't like it, or because, or it was that Church of Christ background that, you know, I, I eventually, you know, thought this, these instruments, I didn't necessarily think it was a sin or wrong. I just thought that it was just too, it's just too much, you know. Anyway, so that's that. That was the invitation, too. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I, w I would say I'm trying to build a following here on my YouTube channel. That was that was uh, the invitation. I plan on doing invitations on here on my on my uh, YouTube channel. Now I hope <laughs> I hope that the church will allow me to do another one. I said I talked to the uh, the elder about this, and like I said, we we were we both c tried to find a common ground. If, if that's the, if those are the words, um, he came at me like you know uh, like I presented spiritual gifts as gifts directly given to us by God you know as I've said that's not exactly what I meant and so I tried to explain to him which is like I've been explaining to you and so he's he is like you know okay you know and then uh handouts I said I gave you that handout uh I would give you give I did give give handouts and he said that you know uh in future you should really talk to us the elders before you plan on giving a handout because it might not incur or present encourage the things that are taught at church of christ and i said you know that, that's all good and of course you know I'll, I'll definitely keep that in mind for my next invitation if they give me one all right so that's that i've been speaking for about six uh was that 16 or 18 16 about 17 minutes now so that's all i wanted to say that's my invitation too so again i'm trying to build a following on here on youtube if so if you like this video if you like this video, I mean, this was on, you know, invitations to the to a church, to my church, and to, to God to become a Christian. I have other things on my YouTube channel. I like to talk about Star Wars things. In fact, after I get done with this one, I'm going to hop over to my other room, which is a, uh, uh, decked out and decorated all in Star Wars. And I'm going to uh, do a Star Wars uh, kind of uh, video. And then uh, I'll talk about other things too. So yeah, colognes. I like colognes and men's, men's fashions, things like that. So, so I would encourage you, please subscribe to my channel. You know, I had oh, I want to shout out to somebody. Um, as I as I just said, was just saying that you know I would encourage people to uh, subscribe to my channel. So I recently had, so, uh, if I can find the guy, the gentleman's name. Okay, Tyke T I. K E Tyke Mansky, if I said that right, I'll give a shout out to M A N S K I. So Tyke Mansky, I'm gonna give a, hand, a shout out to him if he watches this video. Um, again, this might not be my my what he uh, originally joined my uh, channel for, watching uh, a Star Wars or clone uh, video. But if he does watch this one, just because he subscribed to my channel, then shout out to you and. You know, that's what I want. I, I like some subscribers. So, please, it doesn't take, it doesn't take anything. It takes a moment. To, so, please, com subscribe down to my, ch to, down, down in the, uh, you know, well, subscribe to my channel, please. And then, uh, if you like this video, just give me a comment and give me a like, please. You know, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and if you want to hit that notification bell, I don't really have a... Uh, a theme okay i just post videos as i see fit and a lot of other people here on youtube do the same so that's what i'm doing so that was the invitation please if you if you would like to uh okay well let's do, let's do this too i just remembered that uh uh handout i was talking about the spiritual gift assessment if you are if the viewer you the viewer are uh if that appeals to you if you're interested in that i didn't i didn't have it i don't have it with me now but again in your comments if anybody comments and says they would like a copy of that i can do that i can try to po i can i can scan it and i can try to post it uh re replying to you and that way you can, you can print it out wherever you are at and then you can do the assessment and you know that's what I'm trying to do. That's my goal. That should be my goal in life as a Christian is to bring others to Christ. 
Okay, I think I've said my piece here, so like, comment, subscribe, and please, if you need to talk to anybody about uh, uh, joining a church or what it means to be a Christian, I'll do my best. Just comment down below. All right, thank you for watching. Have a good day.